Hi guys, Killer Hurts here. Slightly different style of how to video today. I originally posted this back in 2006 on the mbclub.co.uk forums uh, and no longer have the actual car. As a result, this video is only going to be a slideshow based on the original pictures that I took. I'll try to narrate as much as detail as possible to get around this fact. Anyway, on with the video. Number one, with your bonnet open, or hood as you call it in America, locate the eight bolts on the back of the grill, their eight mil socket size. Two, unscrew the bolts, that's two bolts per side, which are fairly simple to remove, and then there's another four bolts along the top, which hold on the plastic covers as well. Uh, take care when removing these so that the plastic and also the bolts don't fall into the engine bay. Uh, these bolts are exposed to the elements, so you may need to give it a good squirt of WD-40 for five minutes or so beforehand. Three, once you've removed all the bolts and plastic covers, Keep them in a safe place and store them so you don't lose them. Carefully lift out the grill from the bonnet and also feed the handle through the slat. Four, with the grill removed from the car, place the grill face down on a towel or a surface that will not scratch the chrome section and pull off the retaining clips. Make a note of the positions before you remove them so you can put them back exactly the same, make it a lot easier later on, and keep them safe. Five, with all the retaining clips free of the grill, remove the small Phillips head screw from the bottom slash center side. Don't ask why I'm using a jeweler's screwdriver in the photo, um, <laughs> this clearly won't work, but you get the idea. Six, now carefully remove the inner section from the outer chrome surround part. This is probably the most trickiest part of this uh, modification. What you'll need to do is slightly bend the little tangs with the uh, pair of pliers on the chrome surround, just enough so you can prise the inner section through. Most important thing is take your time with this. I found it easier to ease it from one side, just almost drag it out. Seven. Now after you've successfully removed the inner section from the chrome surrounds of the grill, you're now ready to fit its replacement. Um, it's basically the reverse of what you've already done already. I recommend siding it inwards from one side, um, once it's all lined up then carefully bend the, the little tangs back into place um, with the pliers. 8. Before you reattach the retaining clips once again, remember to um, screw in the Phillips head screwdriver from the bottom centre section of the grill. This will align up the centre section with the outer chrome surround and make it a lot easier for you. 9. With all the retaining clips correctly positioned and the grill assembled once again, offer the grill back up to the car. Now this next part is extremely important. If there's only one part of this video that you remember, remember this. Make sure that you fit the bonnet grab handle through the second strip slash slat uh, opening from the top. Uh, if you fail to do this, you're not going to be able to reopen your bonnet once you close it without major grief, swearing, uh, cut knuckles, etc. etc. So it needs to go through the second strip from the top. 10. You're now ready to screw the eight bolts back in. Don't forget to fit the two times weather covers, one on each side. Part number's on screen at the moment as to which one goes on which side. Now close the bonnet back up again and admire your much younger looking C-Class. If you enjoyed this video, or actually I should probably call it a slideshow really rather than the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.